FCT High Court Jabi in Abuja witnessed an unusual beehive of activity, and this is not unconnected with what has been dubbed a high-profile trial, which has been a subject of wider debate on the separation of powers between the executive and the legislature. This was reinforced by protesters who besieged the court premises. The Senate President, his deputy, the former clerk of the National Assembly and the current deputy clerk of the National Assembly were arraigned on a two-count charge of criminal conspiracy and forgery. They pleaded not guilty to the charges. Each of the accused person asked for bail in the most liberal terms because the essence of bail is to ensure that the accused persons who were presumed innocent until proven guilty have the liberty to attend their trial. Reacting to the application, the prosecutor, Mohamed Diri, told the court that he will not be opposing the application of the Senate precedent. However, he was opposed to the application of the other three accused persons because they had evaded service, which had prompted the prosecutor to seek substituted service. Justice Yusuf Halilu admitted the Senate precedent to bail with no conditions attached since the prosecutor had made no objections. However, for the first, second and fourth accused persons, he admitted them to bail with two charities each who must be Nigerians, male or female, and who must have landed properties either in Asokoro, Maitama, Wuseitu or the Garki area of the FCT. I oppose bail for the first, second and fourth defendants. I did not oppose bail for the third defendant, uh, that is the Senate president. And I gave my reason to the court that we don't intend to disturb the conduct of the legislative business on the floor of the Senate. The charges were read, conspiracy and forgery. And they pleaded not guilty to them. The accused persons are expected to return on July 11th for commencement of hearing. All parties say they are ready to commence. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.